Matt Luke is uh, one of the more respected names across uh, college football. He, of course, played offensive line at Ole Miss, ascended to head coach, and that was in the aftermath of the Hugh Freeze scandal, really stabilized the program, brought some class and integrity back to Ole Miss football, moves on to Georgia as offensive line coach and was instrumental in uh, forming, uh, of course, that uh, tremendous Georgia offensive line that uh, won a national championship. But uh, Matt Luke has decided to step down. Yeah, we're, we're certainly going to miss uh, Matt Luke. Uh, the players love this guy. He's, he's a big, for lack of a better term, he's kind of a big teddy bear. Uh, Matt Luke was a was a favorite even among the fans. You know, when you saw him out there, you could tell he just really cared about the kids. Um, but as norm with uh, successful football programs, you you have the the coaching carousel. <clears throat> Good coaches come to Georgia and they become great coaches, and then they get hired away. Nick Saban's been dealing with this for years, and I think Kirby Smart has done a pretty good job dealing with this. Georgia also loses Dan Lanning, so our our offensive. Um, excuse me, our defensive coordinator is now the head coach at Oregon. Uh, Mel Tucker is now a head coach at Michigan State. Uh, Sam Pittman is now a head coach at uh, Arkansas. So you're seeing uh, kind of the same uh, format of what you saw go through Alabama. <clears throat> you would see great coaches go to Alabama. They would uh, – good coaches. They would come out great coaches, and they would go head coach somewhere, just like Kirby Smart So and Shane Beamer. Uh, so – not Shane Beamer. Is it Shane Beamer? I think it was Shane Beamer. I could be wrong. At uh, anyway. South Carolina? Yes. Yeah. So when you see uh, head coach, Will Muschamp is another guy. Uh, when you see these coaches that go through these quality programs and they end up moving up in their career, it is to be expected. So when you hire a, a quality up-and-coming coach or veteran coach, you can expect that at some point they're going to leave the program. I was actually pretty surprised that it looks like we're going to keep Todd Munk in another season. So I was pretty surprised about that. Georgia losing offensive uh, line coach Matt Luke was a little bit of a surprise, but with the NIL impact coming into play, it really adds another layer of the things that have to be done in college football for the coaching staff, the recruiting, the NIL, working with the players, keeping guys on track, on task. It, it's just more and more and more. And so you're going to see, just like Kirby Smart alluded to, alluded to in, a, in an interview, he, he stated, he's like, you're going to see really good guys just go back pro because it's so much less work. Um, so with, with that being the case, Georgia has really done a good job of filling in those gaps. Now, Georgia is looking at three different coaches right now. They have three different coaches on the horizon to what they think they want to bring in for an offensive head coach, or excuse me, offensive line coach. Now, I have my favorite. Uh, I, I think you probably have your favorite here, but uh, I'm going to tell you there's one I, I absolutely don't want. <laughs> there's Will Friend from uh, Auburn. There is Eric Mateos from Baylor. And then there is Greg Studraw. And I apologize if I say the name wrong. But I think uh, you're on the money with uh, the pronunciation. Stru yep. Well, thank you. Uh, Studraw was. Uh, it, the or is the offensive line coach for the uh, incredible uh, the Ohio State. Uh, he has been around for a long time. This is he's been at Ohio State for six seasons. Uh, they're ranked six nationally among Power Five teams. Uh, he has uh, uh, eight consecutive seasons of one thousand yard rushers. I think uh, he also has an all time school record of two thousand and three yards in two thousand nineteen after J.K. Dobbins. Uh, what an amazing resume uh, at a power program, uh, a team that's made the, the college football playoffs uh, pretty regularly since it was implemented. It would be hard to turn that guy down if he wanted the role. I, I'm not even going to look at Will Friend. Uh, not bad, but uh, no thanks pass just because you, you wear the AU. I can't, I can't have you around me near me or, or in my vicinity. So thank you, but no thank you. Uh, and then we have Eric Mateos. Uh, Eric Mateos is, is on the younger side. Uh, really impressive guy. Uh, now, to back up a little bit, Baylor had a down season in 2020, but their, I think their 2019 season, they had uh, 11 wins. I think their 2021 season, they had 10 or 11 wins. So a, a great football coach here uh, in Eric Mateos. I'm not sure what happened 
um, in 2020. You had a head coach who left the program. You had a new head coach. And uh, so they were working through some stuff there. But this last year, you know, you kind of proved he could bounce back. Uh, they, his resume is, is really, really good as well. Uh, had the third best scoring offense um, in college football with 43 and a half points a game. Total offense, seventh in the country. Passing offense, eighth in the country. Um, he had uh, the BYU offensive line only allowed 12 sacks in 12 games, eighth best per game average in the country. Um, the, and, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, I think there was um, – where is it at? I can't even find the stat. Oh, yeah, here it is. Ten, uh, ten uh, All-American honors overall. Uh, I mean, just unbelievable uh, performance by this young coach. And it, and I have nothing against Greg Strudraw, um, but we just talked about how the NIL thing is adding a whole new uh, problem set for coaches. And I think you're, you're going to see younger coaches uh, have maybe a little more energy than some of these older coaches who have been around and more veteranized. So I, I'm kind of leaning towards Eric, uh, but if I had – if I if you could give me a choice, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I would take uh, Strudraw in a heartbeat. Uh, you know, they had uh, – the Buckeyes have been named the f the first team, all 10, uh, all Big Ten Conference, 10 times under Strudraw. Uh, he has a track resume of high performance. And if I can take away an offensive line coach from a team, I'm probably going to end up having to play in a, in a college football playoff or national championship. That's a win. So uh, I would like him, but uh, if I can't get him, I'll take Eric Mateos and uh, Will Friend can stay in Auburn. 